And we are underway here at uh, St James's Park. Wednesday kicking from left to right. Early doors in the sunshine for Michael Smith on the far side. Reese James will look forward. Wednesday only managed two shots on target in that game. It was a game of not too many chances for either side, really. Good strength here from uh, Fiseo Deli Bashiru as he works the ball away from Tim Dieng. Deli Bashiru with a power oh, pull for the edge oh, of the area. That's... Can he keep going? He's going to be hyped down in there. I mean, what a run. That's what we were talking about. You know, we want to see more of that. When he picks that ball up, he just shoulder charges their player away from the ball. And he's carried. Their players had to go at him about two or three times trying to trying to uh, get back back at him and uh, he's carried that ball nearly 50 odd yards both of them have got a, a chance here right of centre Bannon and Windass stand over it three person wall it's going to be Windass who will whip it oh. brilliant save Blackman I think he was cutting into that right hand post as Wednesday are looking at it corner for the Owls well, that's a great effort from Windass quite a few off in League 2 as well only five surviving there Three games postponed in the National League two. Here's Bannon looking to try and bring it down. Stansfield will work it to the left-hand side for Exeter City. Jake Caprice, the former Tramier man to the edge of the area. Stansfield with the back heel down the left-hand side here. Dieng will pull it across the middle. Johnson will control into the path of Kegs Chauke. Well, nearly presented a golden opportunity. It's a first corner for Exeter. Wednesday defended it well after causing yep. their own problems. Smith tries to go through his man in the centre circle in the Owls half. It's intercepted, it's going to be kept in play near side here by uh, Caprice, who goes beyond uh, Iorfa, but really strong and dynamic from Iorfa, who, uh, well, yeah. had his backside out there for a second well, in the Well, he did, but Capri he... Caprice has done well, he's running side X corner. Brown is a, uh, a shorter option here. There's plenty of jostling on the edge of the box. Whipped towards the back stick. Stockdale's there, he's missed it. It's going to be cleared away by McGuinness. It looked like he was fouled in the box. Off the line, that was going over the line. Danger again from Collins. Collins towards the back post. Key is uh, there. It was Pierce Sweeney as well who was up from the back, but a really dangerous ball in. and It needed McGuinness to make the intervention. Certainly looking for it. Pierce Sweeney away up and over halfway. Brown is there. A clash of heads. Yeah, there. clash of heads. Collins is there, and yeah, um, yeah who is it? Volks. Volks. Reminder: earlier today in League One, it finished Ipswich two, Peterborough one, Shrewsbury three, Bolton two. As the balls come through, brilliant save by Blackman. Early ball through the middle by Wednesday, looking for Windass. It caught Exeter napping. Blackman had to be there. Second big chance of the game for Wednesday. Yeah, it's a great save. Managed to tip it round, and we've got a corner from it. But we just, just about the court. The unawares there. He went to sleep from the free kick from the stoppage. You know, if you're playing three at the bike, I suppose every system's got its weakness, and, and that's the one really when it is three at the bike because you're narrow. Ball in from the left hand side from Johnson, looking for Windass. It's going to come out to Smith, who will drive it. Gets a great connection. It's an it important did. block by Hartridge and a corner for the Owls. I mean, that went miles high up into the sky, and he's waited for it, Smith. Bannon with his right arm in the air, delays it, then hits it centrally. Oh. Jamal Blackman with a punch away. McGuinness was coming in and nearly in, but now Exeter City will look to counter-attack down the other end of the field. Stansfield, who has it, looking to attack Liam Palmer. Cuts in field, Bannon's there, slides in. Deli Bashiru clips the ball in the air. Oh, there's a dead... Well, Barry Bannon is in some discomfort here. He has just put his arm in the air. This does not look good for Barry Bannon. Well, there's two down now. Well, Stansfield down, James is down too, but Bannon immediately have to go in sliding in there. But his left arm in the air seems to be holding his left hamstring. Let's hope they're both OK, because like I said, as soon as Barry Bannon went down, that arm shot up. Ball forward looking for Smith. Good battle between himself and Diabate. Here's Iorfa, Bannon. He's not going to last. He's like no, Bannon you. straight down. Kicks the ball out. Wednesday now encouraged from James out to Johnson far side. Johnson looked like he was being pulled back there. Bannon is down. James puts the ball out of play. Uh, 34 minutes on the scoreboard, but it's surely going to be five or six minutes of time added on at the end of this first half. 
James fires it up to halfway, looking for Windass. Ball across the halfway line for Deli Bashiru. Plays a 1 2 with Palmer. Now a 1 2 with Windass for Deli Bashiru. Cuts left, twists right. Palmer looks to go down the line. Caprice will intercept as Palmer just uh, hooks it down the right hand side. Clearance is met by Volk. Smith chokes it to chance. the edge of the area. Here's Backinson. Backinson to the right. Will drill it just over. Great effort from Backinson. Look for a second like it might creep under the bar, but yeah. it goes over the top. But a good driving run. Yeah, that was better play from Wednesday. Kept the ball well, built it up well, and uh, Backinson found himself alone. Smith with a flick on for Wednesday down the right. Nil nil here at St James's Park. Great play. Brilliant Great work play. by Orford down the right. Low ball into the box. It's cut up by Diabate. It'll be a corner for Wednesday. They're fourth of this opening half. Well done, I offer. Looking to make space in a congested box. Decent Windows ball! In and a header over from McGuinness. Excellent run from him. Play about eight or nine yards out. Made the space. Powered it over by a yard or two. Here's Palmer. Interception. Deli Bashiru once again looked like he was being pulled, and yeah. he was by Dieng. Fourth official shows four additional minutes. Four minutes. That's not over a bad the ball. top. Looking for Michael Smith. Good who brings take, it down inside the take. box and drills it. Blackman down well. Didn't have the best of angle to work with Michael Smith, but got his shot away. Forces another save from Blackman. Did well there, Smith. He's stretching for that ball. It was a great diagonal ball, but it just a little, went over his shoulder a little bit too much, but it brought it down. Really well. The parade on the Technique Stadium will be straight there. We are underway in the second half here. Nil-nil between Exeter City and Sheffield Wednesday. All the goals, uh, local goals and from around the country will keep you posted too as Jay Stansfield just looks to head the ball on. I'll give you the two teams very shortly. No changes at half-time, but a key one in the first half for Wednesday as Josh Windus will just control the ball near side here. He's got uh, Marvin Johnson going beyond him. Comes back to Rhys James with a deep ball towards the back post, headed away by Hartridge. Only as far as Dominic Iorfa. Wednesday uh, attacking their fans uh, to our left. As, uh, good ball, good comes ball! Here Windus, edge of the air, it's deflected, Smith is there. Oh, the goal, he nearly dropped out. it. Windus blocked, but an early sign of intent from Wednesday there. Collins now left arm in the air. Sent towards a near post. Great header by Dominic Ayor for away as far as Giovanni Brown. Brown trying to sidestep his man. He gets the shot away. It's blocked by Ayor for back out to the near side for Collins. Dink towards the bike post. McGuinness there with a commanding header away from the bike. But you can hear the reaction from the home fans down the yeah. other end of the field. The pressure at this moment is coming from Exeter. This is all of our own doing, though. Well, they've immediately thrown it back to Chick Diabate. Here's uh, Sweeney. Six and a half years with the club, even though he did move to Swindon for two weeks last year. Yes, you heard right. Here's uh, Chauke. Poor cross from him. Intercepted by Aorfa, but a poor ball out, and it's a sloppy period of play here for Sheffield Wednesday. Here's Caprice. In off the post. What a hit from 25 yards on the left from Jake Caprice. Gave it a bash, nobody shut him down. He beat Stockdale, it hit the post. There are fans streaming towards the advertising hoardings to round the right-hand side. And it is the Grecians who take the lead here in Devon against Sheffield Wednesday. 12 minutes plus stoppages to go at St James's Park. Exeter 1, Sheffield Wednesday 0. This would only be Wednesday's fourth defeat of the league campaign in... Uh, 21, so closing in on the halfway stage. It would at the minute leave them four points behind Ipswich. And with Plymouth still drawing as Stockdale gives the ball away. Stansfield just outside the box. Stansfield will shoot. Stockdale makes a recovery and turns the ball around the corner. Wednesday again causing their own problems. Lots of cold, disappointed faces to our left hand side, John Pearson who've made a long trip today and have not been uh, rewarded particularly in this second half with a performance of note here's a shot from the left hand side from Stansfield it's low about 16 yards out Stockdale will save football heaven on BBC Radio Sheffield that's John Pearson with us today here in the southwest. throw in for Delhi Bashiru, crosses into the area, Patterson's there. 
Little flick header backwards. Johnson will oh. drill it. Gets underneath it and over the top of the bar. Kind of muted cries have come on Wednesday as Johnson goes down the left for uh, Gregory. Johnson into the box. It's a curling ball. Penalty Looks referee. like a pull back in the area. Oh, penalty Surely has to be a pull back on Liam Palmer. Wow, that is a big moment. Darren Moore can't quite believe it. That is a penalty. Well, there should be another three. There should be another three. So should be going up to at least 51. Jonathan Ground still waits to come on. Not sure why they didn't make the well. They, they made the change because it disrupted things a few moments ago. That's a good touch. Lovely touch in. Gregory edge of the air. It's going to come back for a shot towards goal. Oh! 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 Out of nothing. Pandemonium Patterson. in the away end at St James's Park and Callum Patterson in the 15 yards from goal has got a little curler on the end of it the exit players have their hands on their heads they were heading for a huge three points here well Callum Patterson he's wanted more game time wanted more opportunities he's got some today it looked like there might have been a foul there on Archie Collins yeah I thought that was a foul referees <laughs> done well for us well there may be another with that goal maybe another minute and a half now two minutes We'll certainly be looking towards referee Hare with a, another minute on the clock, but Wednesday are pushing forward here and looking to try and win it with Wilkes, who goes down as he shoves to ground. No, Wednesday going to carry on the run on the far side here. Palmer into the oh! middle, Gregory! Oh, oh couldn't get a toe in on the end of it. Wednesday with a grandstand finish. Johnson into the box. Jamal Blackman will claim, but Lee Gregory was, was inches, inches away. away from turning that ball in as the there full time That's whistle the has game. blown. Sheffield Wednesday, well, all those fans that had already left, they miss out on seeing uh, an equaliser. Was it deserved in the second half? Probably not. But Sheffield Wednesday, certainly for their first half display, you can argue deserve a point out of this game. You can see the extra players, they are absolutely crestfallen here. They've put a lot into that game.